Hey guys, it's Matt, and welcome to another devlog. If you're new to my channel, I'm a game developer working on a 2D platformer inspired by the Indiana Jones franchise, which is actually now released, by the way, if you didn't see the update video I put out. You can go download the beta version on itch.io, which will be linked down below. I, um, haven't recorded an actual devlog in... How long? Let me check. Hang on. I think it was something like... Okay, yeah, it was a month ago when the last devlog was uploaded. I actually went and checked YouTube Studio so I could know that. But yeah, this devlog is, since the game is pretty much released at this point, I want to kind of take a few minutes to reflect on the project and kind of go over what I learned and what things I want to try and do with my next project. I think for one thing, I expected a bit too much to happen when I released the game. I kind of got this idea in my head that I was going to get lots of downloads, that it was going to get noticed, but... When I- <laughs> it's only gotten one download so far, and that was me. So I think I definitely may have overestimated what would come of this, for one thing. And it was- it is kind of disappointing seeing it, like, I got- I'm getting more views on the site now, but... It's kind of disappointing seeing that no one's downloaded it yet. Please go download it, by the way. I worked very hard. How do you get people to download your games? Like, I, <laughs> I'm still working on the- I don't know as much as I like to think I do about game development, in all honesty, because I've only released one game so far, and I'm still learning, naturally. Maybe with my next game, I'll make it a bit smaller, for one thing, because another thing I did was, I think I definitely overestimated how long it was gonna take to finish Deathly Descent. The thing is, when I started the project, I was planning to keep it simplistic, but I then kind of got carried away and started improving it in all these ways, from like 2D lighting to the additional tile sets, which was... I'm not, I'm not upset that I did those, the game visually looks better now because I did those, but... When I started the project, I was only planning on spending like a few months on it, and I think I got a bit carried away midway through and started like trying to make it a bit bigger and... I guess I may have overscoped. Let's let's just leave it at that. Um, another thing I learned is that it's probably better to pre-plan your projects before you start them. When I started Deathly Descent, I spent like two hours thinking about it, which is probably part of why it took me an entire year, more than an entire year, to finish the game. I think with my next game, which I'm already working on by the way, I'm not going to spoil too much about that, but... I spent like a few days pre-planning it this time, and I drew out some concept art, drew out like, wrote out a little bit about it, so I knew what I was trying to make before I started making it, and I don't plan to branch too much from what I came up with, because I want to try and, like I said before, I want to try not to overscope this time, I want to get this one finished, this one should be finished pretty soon, I'll actually make another devlog really soon about this game itself once I release it, because it's a small, much smaller game than Deathly Descent is, and I think it's only fitting for like one devlog because I don't think it's gonna take me that long to finish it, so I think maybe I'll make one devlog, maybe a second one to kind of like reflect on that project, but project, but I'm gonna take that one a bit quicker than Deathly Descent. I'm not gonna spend as much time on it. I don't think I did a very good job keeping my code clean for Deathly Descent either. Coding is probably the second biggest hindrance I experienced when it came to Deathly Descent. There were many times when I would write a new script for the game, and it would somehow mess with another area of code that I didn't intend it to mess with, and half the time I'd look back and I'd look at the function that I was calling in the code I just wrote, and for some reason, Sometimes I'd write like additional lines in that function that did other things because I guess at the time I had a thought as to what this would be doing or what these extra this extra functionality to these functions will be used for but as the project changed uh, it kind of became redundant and caused ended up causing more problems than it did actual benefits to the game and I think what I'm going to do from this point on is a I'm going to keep functions very, very simple. I'm gonna make them do one thing, and one thing only. I'm not gonna try and do all this double functionality crap I was doing, because, <laughs> let's be honest, like, that, that serves no useful purpose whatsoever, and I learned that because I had to fight with my code for hours sometimes. So, take it from me, keep your freaking code clean, people! <laughs> It's not, it's worth the time. It's worth the, worth like the extra half hour you spend now because it saves you two freaking hours later, okay? I'll just leave it at that. 
But yeah, it just I didn't really think through Deathly Descent that much before I started working on it is the point I'm trying to make. And I think that ultimately is what led to it taking as long as it has to finish because I wrote out the story and stuff for it after I started the project. I didn't even have a, I didn't even have a theme in mind when I started the project. All I wanted was like a 2D pla platformer that was fast paced and relied on quick thinking. So what I did was I basically made a template that used that and then whenever I came up with the concept of, you know, the Indiana Jones inspired and kind of like themology behind it, I then added that in as an afterthought and then I changed like several parts of the game to accommodate for that and what it ended up being was a mess and like, I think I definitely should have thought about the story too before I started the project. Like that's the biggest thing I think I definitely didn't think about and probably should have when I started this project. And the next game I'm working on either actually doesn't have a story, by the way. It's more of an arcade type of high score based game. That's all I'm going to say about it. I'm actually really excited to tell you. It's taking me all of my resistance right now. Restraint, not resistance. Same difference. Right now, not to spoil what I'm working on. Because I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be good. I'm already, already proud of it. And I've only been working on it for like a few days. So, yeah, if that's anything to go by, then yeah, it's going to be a really good idea. But yeah, I'll probably post another video later talking about that. I'm not gonna say too much about it right now because it's still a prototype. And so far it's gone a lot smoother. So this is not gonna be too long of a devlog. Like, I'm, I'm not even writing a script for this one because that's another thing I want to talk about actually. For the last, like, two or three devlogs, I've been writing an entire script for what I wanted to say because I thought it would improve my commentary, but I think it sounds too faked. Like, I don't know if it's, that's just me, or if that's just, or if that's actually a problem, but I don't like the way it sounds, because I think it sounds a lot less genuine, and it sounds more genuine when I'm just here talking to the camera like I normally would be. Even if I go in circles and stutter my words and all that, I think it sounds more like an actual human being talking about something that he has done than a robot talking about something that this other person has done, which is what I feel like my more recent devlogs kind of sounded like, and I kind of want to... I kind of want to start recording commentary more raw like this, instead of writing a whole script for it and spending weeks on end planning a devlog like I was doing, because that's what really took more of the time. Recording really doesn't take that long, it's just whenever you're trying to write an entire script, it takes a long time, and I don't think I have as much time as I really used to. But, yeah. I guess that's gonna be the end of this devlog. I'm not used to just recording normally, because I haven't done it in a... I'm sorry, in a while. I think... I'll, I'll see how this comes out. If need be, I'll cut down the commentary. I probably will have to, because I've kind of take... I've taken a few gaps talking that I... Yeah, so anyway, that's gonna be the end of this devlog. Look forward to whatever video I post on my next game, which is going to be coming out pretty soon, probably. And also, go check out Deathly Descent on itch.io. The link is once again down below in the description, and you can go download it for free with, an, with the option to donate. But any, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next devlog. Bye!